Okay, a while back I had uh, posted a question of uh, one save all I saved, and um, of course the Calvinists gave it a low rating. All it was was a question, and the question was, can a drunkard make it into heaven if he was eternally secure? I said no. And there's a story behind that. Um, I was baptized back in, when I was like 11 years old, in Jesus' name. Um, like in Romans 6, 3, we were to put on Christ to get baptized in his name. And I was baptized, and the following summer I was, went up to family, um, junior camp and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Well, secure. I mean, I mean, it's no, it's, you can't explain the experience of receiving the Holy Spirit and being baptized in Jesus' name. You, words can't describe it. Um, you can try, but you can't. Um, then, you know, like all rebellious teenagers, they go out and they think they're invincible and do no wrong or nothing. Um, and I just kind of carry over to my um, adult years, you know. I, you know, I, you know. Yeah, I mean, one time I, I, you know, I went up to the lake, had, I don't know, maybe a 12 pack or of ice beer or something, you know, it's something that really high in concentrated in alcohol. I wasn't a hard liquor drinker, more of a beer man. I mean, living in Wisconsin, yeah, you had to support the beer man, right? <laughs> um, then, you know, I went to the local dog track and, you know, probably had, had some for that. And, you know, I was all riding on a motorcycle, you know. I mean, I think it, maybe it was the case. It could have been the case. I'm not sure, but but after the dog track left off, I headed to local bar. I don't know if I had one or two, all on the motorcycle. And somehow I got on the motorcycle. I even tipped it down. I mean, I should have said no. I should not be doing this. I mean, I lost a lot of classmates do to drinking and driving, you know. So I know I even went stupidity, I even went with people who had too much to drink. And somehow God protected me. You know. Anyways, I was on a motorcycle, I was I must have been from Kakana to all the way to Appleton. Um, it must have been like seven miles or so. I drove on a motorcycle and I was negotiating to make a turn. And you know, it's kind of one of those roads where you turns as a groove in it a little ways. And I decided not to. And I hit that curb this is the old curb, you know, not like the ones nowadays that had a ramp. We go flying. You know, it's, I hit that and bike went one way, I went the other. I flew about 100 feet in oncoming traffic. Thank God nobody, you know, thank God there wasn't a car there. I know God protected me there. I just know it. You know, I just, I got up. Believe it, I got up. All I had was a scrape on my elbow and knee. And it turned out the person who saw this, who witnessed it, was actually a friend of my sister. Um, they brought me to the hospital, got my book, test my blood, and it came back 0.20. 0.208% on a motorcycle, people. Now to say I was saved 
right then and there, if I would have died and see if I was saved, it would go against the direct teachings of what the Word of God says. It says that no man, no drunkards will inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's why the one saved, always saved, is in grossly in air. You know? I mean, I'm not, a, I wasn't an alcoholic. I was one of those, you know, I had one of those personalities, let's see. You know, I'm kind of like a weakened alcoholic or, well, being shy or introvert, that really is, you know, because you always have your hands in the air, you know, always toasting them down, you know. That don't help either. Um, I mean, I remember going to the bar and having... We'll go to the, what you call it, bottomless cup. All you can drink buffets, you know. Pay for a cup, go up there and have all your male, rick, male beer, you know, all your rail drinks you want and beer, you know, without paying anything. I remember blowing into that thing. Um, I think I was wearing those breathalyzers at the bar. 0.35% or something, 0.35%, I mean, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I was, I was close to drinking myself to death a couple times, I know it, and I believe, with all my heart, that God saved me for a reason. Now I know why. To proclaim the Almighty God in Christ. And the funny thing is, when when I hit that um, curb, I mean, the weird thing was when I hit that curb, somebody who hit that before me on a motorcycle, he had one of those crotch rockets, right? I, I mean, I had a sporty bike, but it wasn't one of those crotch rockets. Um, he had both his legs severed off. That's what the officers told my sister when she came to pick me up at the hospital. Yeah. I looked down on my legs and I think uh, that didn't happen to me. You know. As for drinking drinking myself in Bolivia, I never told my parents that. I, I, I was sick for like some days like two days I couldn't eat or drink or nothing I mean say you can't lose your salvation it's ridiculous this is the question behind testimony. This is a testimony, man. This is true. I even went, I mean, I was so drunk the following day. I, I was legally drunk the following day. I even went to try to pick it up. You know, I, I bent the forks. You know, I, it was drivable, but I bent the forks and the disc that goes around it. You know, I am doing repairs on it myself. But it still wasn't back to normal what it used to be. But that's why I'm an advocate against all false doctrine. You know, it's just it's crazy. Yeah. Um, now you're probably wondering, oh, okay, this is emotional testimony. I mean, this is true. This is. I saw too many people die from drink driving. <laughs> my classmates. Now if I wasn't in back student condition at that moment, I could have saved him. I could have witnessed to him. Yeah, I was, I was.